All right, shop talk, swim jig time. Setups, different style baits, wine, different style baits, different heads. You know, there's a lot of swim jigs out there. And personally, for me, 99.9% .9 of them I don't even like. Uh, poor weed guards, poor hook, poor eye positioning, da da da, the list goes on. Uh, not sponsored by the company that I fish with a lot. I buy them just like you guys. Tackle Warehouse, just get on there and order them because really what I'm looking for in a swim jig is pretty simple. It's the style of the head. That head comes through about anything, grass, wood, doesn't seem to flip over and hang. Uh, good hooks, good skirt, decent weed guard. You'll notice there's two different style hooks right here. That's a big hook, you know. That's what I'd call a braid hook. That's when I'm gonna be swimming with braid. You notice the diameter of this hook to the right, that's gonna be a fluorocarbon. That's something I'd swim on, you know, 16 pound shooter, uh, 20 pound shooter, open water, uh, could be a shad spawn real fast around a dock. I'm just skipping it real quick. Bigger hook, mostly for braid, this for fluorocarbon. Do you need two different ones? Absolutely. You don't always need to swim on braid. You get more bites sometimes letting the bait down. So that's really what I'm looking for. It's a dirty jigs, homemade skirt. This is dirty jigs, this is their skirt, but that's the one I throw a lot. The setup I use, this is an arc, the reinforcer, seven foot three, medium heavy. Uh, I don't use a seven six or seven ten or 725 million or whatever that thing is. I use seven foot three, seven foot four, because when I'm working my jig a lot of times, I'm working it. I'm shaking my wrist, I'm working the rod tip. That big long extension of the rod, it's usually stiffer, it's usually harder to work. Uh, you simply just overpower the fish, tear too big a hole when you set the hook. I mean, you got 40 pound, this is 40 pound SX braid, uh, Sunline. I mean, you, you, can, you can outthink swim jigging. You, you can really just, to me, people get way involved in too, too big a rod. 60 pound braid on it, the bait don't swim the same. So try to keep, I keep it pretty simple. 40 pounds is the heaviest line I ever swimming on. Uh, you'll see that's a Zoom Z crawl trailer. That's the junior and the white. It's just a white chartreuse jig. And you'll notice on the video you're watching here, there's some fish catching through where it's water's dirty and they're really, really honed into the brighter colors. So yeah, I have some brims and, and you know, crawfish colors and blacks, but man, when that water's dirty, a lot of time I'm strictly gonna go with white. Uh, swim jigging's all about speed most of the time. A lot of times if you're missing fish, you're having fish fall at night, get it, speed it up. Just simply speed it up. This is a 6 8 to 1 gear ratio. I don't throw it on a high, high speed reel simply because I don't feel like I have any power. I make the long cast one bites it right on the end. I can't, I don't, I don't have the low end torque to move the fish. So I stick with a 6 8 to 1. It's kind of the gear ratio I'm the happiest with. I seem like I can move fish by the turn of the handle. There's plenty of line up, but remember, if you're getting on a fall at night, get it. Speed it up a little bit. Speed it up. Swim jigging to me is a very exciting way to fish. It's kind of like hand-to-hand -hand combat with a bass. So y'all check out some of the footage. Mm -hmm. That's my setup. It's pretty simple, pretty clean. But man, when it works, it slides out. Thank you guys. Woo!